Greetings ladies, Sharon Danley here of Two Minute Tips. This week's topic is how to backcomb that luscious curly hair of yours. Okay, step number one. Second day hair, I shampooed it yesterday and used the Curl Keeper Original for my waves to enhance them. So that this morning all I have to do is spritz it with water to reactivate the curl or the wave or whatever it is you have. I make sure I go around the sides and the back and get it just the way I need it. And I have a cowlick back there that I also have to spritz and make sure it's got as much natural curl or wave in it that it can possibly have. Yeah, okay, that's looking pretty good, about as much wave as I'll get out of my hair naturally. Now here's my tools that I use for backcombing with curly hair. No brush, but rather a comb. And of course, I'm going to use my extension because my hair is so thin, as you know. So first thing to do is to make a part where I'm going to place the extension. Now when I'm separating the hair, you want to be a little bit careful not to pull too much, but just separate at the root. With curly hair working at the root is the important thing. Now, before I put the extension in, I'm going to back comb just at the root with my barber's comb to give it some lift underneath the hair uh, extension. So it would just help the hair extension to sit out a little bit further. Remember, with curly hair, it's all back combing at the root, and I like the barber's comb the best. You certainly wouldn't use a brush in this case. And then I come around to the sides, uh, under the ear, and the nape of the neck. Now I install, or apply, the hair extension. Okay, now it's time to throw the hair back a la Rita Hayworth. And using my technical terms of schmush, push, play, I put all the hairs in the place that I want them, except now I've got to deal with that cowlick, which I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world that has one. How do you do it? Bring the sides together and with the curly hair, gingerly remove that section from the rest of the hair and back comb the two sides together, both in the front and the back. Now I'm going to take another piece and back comb that section underneath a little bit more just to give the fullness. I'm not going to use hair padding today. Then I'm going to use that comb uh, with the picks on the end just again to place in the places that I want and to cover over again technical terms of schmush, push and play. Okay, making sure that everything's kind of in place, checking to see if anything else needs to be done, and of course I have to fix that cowlick once again. And here's the thin side of my hair, again gingerly removed from the rest of the hair and back comb underneath at the root. See how that lifts it up and then you just lay it down using your pronged comb to do so. And sit the same with bangs on the other side, over directing and back combing underneath, again at the the root and then just lay it where you want gingerly and schmush play and uh, get it just the way you want it so a little bit more futzing and a little bit more water to activate that bang area and I'm pretty much done except for again schmush push and play Now I add a little bit of hairspray when I'm happy with the crown. Take a look. Make sure everything's in place. Again, smoosh, push and play to have everything sitting the way you'd like. Oops, that's sticking out a little bit too much there. Easy to push it back in. And you can wear it up. You can wear it to the side. There's a lot of hairstyles that you can get out of this particular look or 
just wear it as it is and enjoy your day. Hope that helps.